love you guys. How are you all? Thank you guys for being here. Um, so I am pumped up. I'm so excited for tonight. I'm about to bring up our girls, but I just want to say hello to you guys and let you know. So what's kind of going on tonight? We're going to start the October of 2020 jail calls. We are not going to interrupt the calls. Um, we are only going to pause in between the calls to talk about you know, whatever was on that call. Um, we're going to go for a little while, see how far we go. And, you know, we got lots to go through. So th this will be a series on this channel as well as Jen Luz. So if the mods don't mind, can you drop Jen's link for me? Both Jen's. But so Jen Lou and I will be splitting the conversation discussions. And then after their live, we'll, we'll also have... Um, versions of this on Curious Jen's channel with no commentary. That way you guys can go and listen whenever you want without having to listen to us blab and all of that stuff. So I'm really excited. I can't wait to get to get into it. I hope that you guys checked out Tidbits of Tisha today. That is a new series I'm going to do about the jail file. We're also going to do live streams and other videos. They're going to do videos. we got so much to look forward to. Um, but anyways, let me say hello to you guys. Hey, Scout. Hey, B Crumbs. Hey, Julia. Mandy. Hey, Becky. Hey, ooh. Ooh. Hey, Clicker. Hey, Jesse. Pointer Lover. Nadie. By the way, you guys, today's Nadie's birthday. And so send her a little extra love in the chat. I'm sure she's going to kill me for the for drawing attention to it. Also, Nay sells really wonderful wax melts. If you go check out musicmelts.com, I'm going to show you guys a video on that in the near future. But um, yes, happy birthday to our Nay. Hey, Jody. Hey, Skylab. Little Red Riding Hood. Petunia. Mary Jane Doe. Kate Kate. Um, Rayol. Raw. Rayol. B, Cutie Pie, Ashley, Nanny Noodle, Scout, Slick Nikki, Amelia, um, all of you guys. Hey, Kaylin. Hey, Melissa. Let me go ahead and bring up the girls so they can say hello or give any thoughts before we jump into the first call. And then, like I said, we will pause only in between the calls. Hey, you guys. Hello. hello. <laughs> well, How are first you? I'm good, but first and foremost, brace yourselves. Happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday dear nady boo boo happy birthday to you happy birthday <laughs> nay love you i love her so much nay is the best her melts are the best i don't just say that you guys curious jen has recently fallen in love with them by the way she added them to her website as well <laughs> Oh, I love your pictures, by the way. Curious, Jen. Um, but yeah, I told Nay, I was like, can I please like send you some dinner? She's like, no. I'm like, please. She's like, no. I'm like, but I would really love to do that so you don't have to cook. And we went back and forth a little bit, but she has refused it so far. But um, she definitely deserves something because she's a special gal, that one. Um, hey, well, hey, Elizabeth. Like you said, I have recently fallen in love with those wax melts. So, what better <laughs> excuse to buy myself a uh, buy myself a present for Nay's birthday? There Just you buy go. it for May, and then I trick her into accepting a gift. <laughs> the Sorry. girls have been telling me about the blueberry Nay, and um, oh yeah, it's magical apparently. And so that is on my list of purchases. Got that blueberry so very yum yum excited. and it's fire. It's a blue, and that's what it's called, blueberry yum yum. Ooh. Um, hey, Gabby. Hey, one who sees Diana, Adrian. Well, anything you guys uh, want to say before we get started? Um, yeah, so I did want to point out um, when when we ordered these calls, uh, there what what we have is the the first few days of October you know, and, and we'll just see how many we get through. But um, there was a call on September 30th of 2020 uh, where Letitia called Harley and Harley rejected the call. And then there was a call on October 1st of 2020 where they had about a 14 minute conversation. But uh, the woman that I get these calls from at El Paso County 
said that there was, you know, that it that that call needed to be redacted for personal reasons, you know, for reasons of, you know, personal information, basically, is what she said. And then there was another call on, um, I think it was on October 1st after that. Um, I don't have my notes right in front of me, but I'll go get them here as soon as I get back inside. But anyway, so there was a rejected call and then an accepted call that they won't give us. And then there was another rejected call after that. So Leticia and Harley were clearly having trouble. And once we get to, um, I think it's the third call is with Aunt Brenda. And, and, and then it kind of, um, you know, they do talk about, you know, what was going on with Harley being upset. And so I think what happened is in that redacted call, um, Harley was very upset and they had a fight. Uh, and it sounded like the, the fight was because, you know, Harley wasn't doing stuff that Letitia told her to do. And we all know, um, you know, how nasty Letitia can be. I mean, remember that, remember that time where she was like, don't call me your mother or whatever it was, you know. Um, so I'm, I'm assuming it was an, another situation along those lines. And in a way, I'm kind of glad they didn't give it to us because, um, you know, we've, we've seen, we've seen a lot of people at their most vulnerable in this case. And, um, I'd hate to start off with the very first call that we put out just being, you know, gut wrenching vulnerability. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, it's crazy. Um, well, thank you for the backstory. And so yeah. the, the two gins have listened to the calls. I haven't listened to them yet. So I'll listen to it for the first time with you guys. Um, so yeah, I appreciate that. That's interesting. Hey, Yeebe and Adrian K. Brace and someone else, David, good to see you guys and everybody else that I haven't said hello to yet. Mrs. O, Tony, thank you guys all for being here. Hey, Foxy. Um, Okay, well, are you guys ready? And Jen, do you have anything you wanted to add before we started? No. Uh -uh. Okay. I just wanted to sing happy birthday to Nay, and I got to do that. <laughs> Sorry for y'all's ears. <laughs> beautiful job. It was beautiful. Oh, please. I cannot, I could not carry a tune if that thing had a handle, and I know that. I'm, I know my <laughs> limits. <laughs> Well, um, we're like, we're not going to stop and no matter how bad I want to, I'm not going to stop during the calls. I'm actually going to put my <laughs> earbud in and walk around with my phone while we're listening. And I'm going to mute myself right now. Okay. And, um, then yeah, we will get started up. Also, I saw a couple other people I didn't want to go without saying hello to, which was Amber, Love Rain, Take Teacup, and Kaleida Hope. All you guys, if I missed you, know that I, I love and appreciate you and thank you for being here. I don't want to drag it out too much because I know people are really excited for the calls and excited to not pause all along the way. So anyways, hey, Roxanne. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Let me, I'm going to mute myself, right? Damn. Hey. Hi. Honey, I missed you the other day. It's okay. Um, I was teaching. Uh, I had oh a yeah. live Google Meet going here. Yeah. yeah. I cannot get one of those set up. Okay, and then Harley texted me yesterday, and she said, tell mom still no answer. Well, I got it back now. I got the answer now. Oh, okay. She had to download. She downloaded a texting app for it to work instead of using her number, which is fine. Got you. Okay. So I just talked to her, and she she said that the people through the avenues had been looking for me, but I told her there's this girl in here with the same name, and so the girl was, like, all ecstatic about it because she was trying to fix her stuff, and she was, like, freaking out. And I was like, I, can, I, I said, I bet you that was supposed to be for me. <laughs> sure enough, right. it was when I found out today it was, so. But Harley's gonna um, tell him, Harley's gonna tell him which side. Yeah, which side I'm on. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well. Come on. That word out of mind. Okay. Well, good. Yeah. All right. Well, good. That makes me happy. Yeah. So we'll see. Uh, maybe tomorrow I'll we'll probably get something. But um. Tomorrow you should know something. Yeah, well, they like, uh, so what happened was uh, they've been given, like, I was going to eat, but they've been given this uh, soy butter, like soy, 
I'm going to eat them. So I was trying to get the message to that person. Remember the person that called you? Mm -hmm. the kitchen. Like, you know, you have to go to a couple avenues to get to the people in the kitchen. And then, um, anyway, so the other girl, her name is Leticia. It's spelled the same way, but, you know, it's like they say, like, Spanish Leticia. And so, um, she got all excited and was like, oh, my God, I don't know. I'm like thinking, I said, I bet you money that was supposed to be for me. <laughs> Well, I didn't know. Yeah. I was like, what does she mean? <laughs> yeah, that's what she was talking about. They, I guess the lady hadn't wrote back yet because um, she was going to tell him, he was going to tell the other person, he was going to tell the other person. There's like three people to go through. Okay. So, like, guys, they have connections to everything. You know what I'm saying? Girls, they don't, we don't mean anything to the system. Plus, I'm not a drug addict, so it don't matter. <laughs> you know? Yeah. This is like a rehab so, here. Go ahead. Have you met with anybody lately? No, uh-uh. Why not? It's out of my hands. <laughs> I, there, there's no point of ever. I'm not going to say anything anymore. I'm not going to give them any reasons why. I'm, I'm not. I'm not doing anymore. It's out of my hands. I've done everything I'm supposed to do by letting them know. I've updated them for seven months about everything that goes on. And stuff. I, I'm not stressing about it anymore. To get these people to listen. So, are you not coming to see you, or you you just don't want to? No, I'm I'm just saying I don't I don't know anything. That's all I can say is I don't know anything, and I'm not I'm not gonna say anything anymore. I'm just I accepted the fact that I was reading my Bible yesterday about you know Jesus being put on trial with Pilates and he was found innocent. Innocent. Look what so happened. All illegal. They did it during the Passover. They did it during the hours that were against Jewish religion. So I'm not going to complain about the suffering of it anymore because these people don't have control of authority. Authority is in the power of him. And that's how I'm leaving it. Okay. Because that's just how it's going to have to be because they ain't nobody fixing this problem with Jesus because these people think they're above the law and above God. There ain't nobody fixing it with him. So, I, I, I watched these people yesterday not feed this one girl. She's a number something. But then if you just go lunch, then if you just go dinner, she be they kept getting her food wrong. That girl be doing that. She didn't eat lunch or dinner yesterday. They freaking mm -hmm. they took razors from people in here. They we don't even came to have a razor to shave. Uh, they 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 do some some shady stuff, man. <laughs> now, I'm not the only one they do it to. I'm the one that's most scrutinized and done the worst by a long mm -hmm. shot. But mm -hmm. there's nobody solving this problem here but, but Jesus. This is a rehab. That's the thing. If you're not an addict, then you don't belong here because this is a drug rehab center. They come around, they bring you a little Gatorade car, they give you insurance, they give you whatever you need. You can have all the track marks you want in the world on your body. But you don't do drugs, you don't belong in here, they don't give a crap whether you live or breathe. Mm. Because that doesn't, that doesn't keep them in a job. What keeps them in a job is the drug addicts reoccur and do more and more crimes to keep coming back. Mm. So, I've been in prayer a lot about it, and this is what has been put upon my heart and my mind about my thought process about it. And it's just like, I'm not going to tell them anymore. They got people in here that they've been bringing. they quarantining people now in this ward. They had this girl in 38 now. When the vents connect all the way around. Now, she was quarantining herself, but you can talk to the vents. So don't you think the air goes to the vents? Yeah. I mean, they brought these plates this morning. I am not touching that food. They brought these plates that were open, the plates sitting on top of each other, these trays, these ancient trays that have been 40 years old. Plastic, you can't sanitize plastic, first off. And then on top of that, though, everything's just sitting there on top of each other on these open, big old trays. Nah, man. They're just trying to kill people. That's what they're doing. Spread diseases, germs. Nah. <laughs> so you think all that going on in this one war? That you put two and two together, you know why I probably ain't been nowhere, no visits or nothing. 
they don't have time for that stuff. Then they have to shut down these wards, and then they then they have a riot going on here because they have to shut down this ward with these people. They lose mm -hmm. their, they lose their visitation. Then they lose like they got a video thing on the screen. They ain't, they ain't want nobody to have to get get the whole board you know look, um board to get locked down so they can take people out of here. That ain't happening. That starts a riot up in here and it won't stop for hours and hours. So, but you just gotta think about like all that going on and how they. I'm not an addict. I'm not gonna get preferential treatment, so I'm not gonna take any any visits. I'm not gonna get you know whatever. <laughs> so. Mm -hmm. So you're not refusing them, right? I'm not refusing anything. I'm not gonna get injured. I'm not gonna get pushed around like happened. They came and did that report, and the other officer wrote it five days later. Now that was. That was it for me. That was it. You get drugged in shackles or restraints down a hallway and have injuries like that. That was it for me. I told him, you're not going to injure me anymore. I'm not doing it. I don't deserve it. I'm on lockdown for no reason with all these lockdown people. So my behavior don't warrant any of that. These people right. here, like all these other girls from these other wars, they're crazy. They treat these deputies like crap. They talk junk to them. They spit at them. They do all that stuff. And I'm the one on lockdown. I can't even order a candy bar. And I'm the one restrained around this place for no reason. They threaten the cops. They throw up gang signs. They put their gun marks up like they're going to shoot people with a gun. What? Yeah, they do it to me. Yeah. The, the the guards or the other inmates? The inmates do it to the guards and to other inmates. And nothing's done to them? No, that one girl was down here last night yelling at the girl upstairs and told her, don't worry, as soon as we get out of here, I got a bullet for your brain. Mm. And so they start yelling about free speech. Honey, that ain't free speech. <laughs> I caught a threat. You know, they, the girl, those two girls are going out after it. The cops ain't going to do anything to them because they know they'll, they'll, they'll all ride out. And then you'll have 20 people banging on doors trying to break out and break the glass. And so they, you have to choose your battles, you know, like with kids, you know. And all that goes on, but I have to get restrained around here. No, mm -mm. they would not do me like that before. Right. Right. Hang on a minute, buddy. Right. Right. Oh, I was going to tell you, when Sean got that Bible, she broke down crying. <laughs> and, uh, well, good. She stayed up all night for two nights reading on it. <laughs> and, um, we, oh, this is what she wanted to meet. Actually, we were doing a study yesterday, and we were trying to find somebody to look it up for us, and maybe you can tell me next time. So, like, you know... And Matthew, the beginning of Matthew, when it talks about Jesus being a baby, there's King Herod, right? And then King Herod dies, right? But then if you look in the book of Luke, it's only in the book of Luke, it talks about King Herod being there doing the crucifixion. So we're trying to figure out how did King Herod die twice? Because if there's two King Herods, it never mentions anything in the Bible about it transitioning over to like his son or something like that. So we were wondering if someone could find out for us, like what biblical scholars say about it, you know? King Herod, when he was yeah. crucified. No, no, okay. So King Herod died in the book of Matthew, right? Mm -hmm. When he was a baby, right? If you go to Luke, whenever Pilates and Caesar, all that's talking about the crucifixion, Herod goes, this is the man Jesus. I've been waiting to see him. So King Herod's alive again. No, but Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John are all written at the same time. Hang on. They are, but they're, but they're written by different people because only Matthew and John were written by the actual people. Uh -huh. Mark was written by Peter, by Peter's account. 
But the point we're trying to make is one of them talks about King Herod dies when Jesus was a baby, when they were trying to remember when he tells them the man who see the baby's life is no longer there. He's not alive. And it says King Herod's death. That's Matthew. But then when you go to Luke, uh, it's got in there about he when he comes before Pilate and all that, it says that King Harris there talking to him and like, This is the man Jesus, I've been waiting to see who he is. So he could be seeing him then with his crucifixion. Mm-hmm. So we were just wondering. Um I'll look in and try and figure it out. Yeah, yeah, we were trying to figure it out because we were going back and forth about, well, because we knew that, you know, Luke was written not by Luke. You see what I'm saying? It was all the accounts that people gave Luke, uh, different people's um, perception wrote Luke. And so we were going through, we're like, okay, Matthew was wrote to the Jews. Mark was wrote to the um, Romans. Um, Luke was wrote to the Greeks and the Gentiles, so we were trying to figure out maybe it had something to do with that, but then it still was a big age, like gap difference between Herod dying when Jesus was a baby and Herod dying when Jesus was, or Herod being there when Jesus was getting crucified. So, I mean, it's probably two different Herods, but we just didn't ever see anywhere in the Bible that talks about, you know, like another man took over, like his son or something, you know what I mean, with the same name. What? Yeah, anyway. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think today we're going to start reading out of, um, Harley said she was reading out of Job today. She called it Job. I said, Harley, it's Job. <laughs> she said, Mom, I've been reading out of Job. She said, I've been reading out of Job. And I said, what's Job? She said, that's the Bible. I said, Job. <laughs> yeah, and she was telling me about some projects she had coming up with the middle school kids and all this stuff. She was excited about that. She was fine now. She used to say she was just tired and everybody was stressed and like, you know. You have one you know, minute the, remaining. The work page, or the marketing page for her work and all that stuff too. And I said, you got to remember. I said, you got to sometimes slow down and make sure you're always keeping God first and making sure you're keeping that time for him because that's what keeps you going. Yep. And so she was, yep. she, she was a lot better today and so that was good. Because I talked to her good. yesterday, I said, I said, Harley, I said, you got to remember, you had a mom who did everything for you and who was there for you with love. I said, a lot of people didn't get both of that. You had the lifestyle and the mom. I said, some people right. don't get a mom that gets to take up time with them or go on a picnic or do this and show them love. And so right. I talked to her a little bit about that. She's like, I know. I'm your, I was like, it's okay. <laughs> but anyway, all right, it's going to hang up. So I, I'll talk to you later then. But okay, yeah, if you find that out for us, we'll, we'll be able to talk about it next time with them or whatever. And I'm still waiting for the specialist to come in to be, let me sign that paper. That's all I'm waiting on on that. Okay. 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 Before we um, discuss that, I just want to say thank you so much to Diana. It says, T Spirit Animal is Satan. Thank you to MK. Pat and Angie and Kim, thank you guys so much. It is really sweet, and I appreciate it so much. And, um, yeah, what are your guys' first thoughts? Hey, Emily. Well, I mean, Aunt Katrina, at this point, on October 1st of 2020, has been listening to Letitia's bullshit for seven months, and it's always grievances, and she's always, you know, Aunt, Aunt Kay – or I'm sorry, Aunt Katrina is um, constantly in touch with Letitia's attorneys. And Letitia is turning on her attorneys at this point. She doesn't want them anymore. I mean, she started doing that months ago, but um, she really got pissed because they, they made her do the first and second competency evaluations and she didn't want to do competency, you know? And so, you know, she's in the middle of this game with her attorneys. And so here Aunt Katrina is talking to her attorneys and she's talking to Letitia. And you can tell a huge difference between Aunt Katrina in the jail calls from when she was first incarcerated and now. You know, now she's a lot quieter and she's just taking it in and she's like, uh-huh, uh-huh. 
and before she was like, you know, ready to start a riot because they were treating Letitia badly, you know? Yeah. She seems totally disinterested. And, yeah. um, also like, Oh my God, her la last little comment about how lucky Harley was to have her as a mom. It's like, you do understand that you're in prison for murder and she has no other parent. I don't think that you're doing the best job, mom. Like, right. <laughs> you idiot. Oh my God. Right. And she'll, she would probably still tell you today how lucky Harley is. Unbelievable. Um, oh, thank you, MJ. That is so sweet. Thank you. So what do you guys think about her Bible, her interest in the Bible? Oh, I think I'm going to, I'm going to hold off on that one until the next call. Um, see, Jen and I have heard the next call and you haven't. So the next call is also with Aunt Katrina mm -hmm. and it's the next day. So it's Friday, October 2nd. Mm -hmm. And, um, and, and they, they have a little more religious talk in that one. So I'm going to hold off on the, okay. on the well, Jesus. Well, we can go ahead and listen. And, but Jen, you got anything before we do? I mean, first of all, let's just, <laughs> let's just say, let's, <laughs> let me just say what everybody is thinking. Okay. The Letitia is comparing herself to Jesus. Do I need to say more? She's putting herself in the same category as Jesus. Okay. And even my heathen ass knows that's wrong. Okay. Also, I don't think she's pronouncing some of these names from the Bible correctly. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Because I'm like, Pilates? What? Isn't, isn't it Pointless <laughs> Pilot? Isn't that who she's trying to talk about? <laughs> is, it, is that right? You know, Pilates. Well, that's, that's his hood name. It's a name, but it's Pontius Pilate, right? Because yes. that's who was around during the crusade. See, let I me say just say Pontius, this. But Pontius, I, I, I can't remember how to say it. It's been a minute I'm, since I'm, I'm not a biblical scholar. Neither am I. Neither am I. But some of these names don't sound right. And also, <laughs> not right. a lot. Like, here comes Letitia talking about, you know, what Harley needs to realize is that you need to always make sure you take time, you know, each day for God. Letitia, shut the fuck up. Were you taking um, time for God when you brutally murdered your 11-year-old defenseless stepson? Even if he had right. a defense for fuck's sake, he's 11. What the hell's wrong with you? Okay? And by the way, a lot of moms, sure, you got to take her on picnics. But guess what else she got to, you know, she learned, she, you know, she got from you. She had to, she's making jail, she, she's taking your calls while you're locked up in jail awaiting trial for murdering her 11-year-old stepbrother. Okay. So right. fuck your picnics. Nobody cares about your picnics. I'd rather have a mom that's not a child murderer yeah, than go on count. a picnic. Thank you very much. I mean, maybe my priorities are just different. I'm a little bougie. So right. look at so, oh, one. Go ahead. Cause what? I was going to show you a funny comment. Music city mom made, but I freaking lost it. She said she, okay. she meant the Spanish, the Spanish name. Oh, <laughs> Leticia. Right. Okay. Shut up, Leticia. Just, shut up. just <laughs> stop right. <laughs> just see. stop right there. There we just go. stop. Well, we and really I like to you how she compared herself to Jesus and then talked smack about addicts and other people that aren't as good as her. Like, did did you really read that book? I I mean Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> hey Christine G, that's me. <clears throat> good to see you. Hey, Lori. Good to see you as well. Let me drop Lori. And they make beard balm and everybody loves it. I don't have a beard, so I haven't tried it. I should get some anyways because people use it for all kinds of stuff. But everyone who has tried it loves it. So, um, yeah. But yeah, so they're at the end of a little bit of talk about Harley, um, you know, because every, everybody apparently knew that Letitia and Harley had this huge blow up on the phone and Harley was crying and, and it was a mess. And so Letitia's version of the story is, you know, that Har that Harley just needs to put God first and she gets overwhelmed and, and emotional when we already know. And, and, and you'll be able to tell in the next couple of calls, so I won't get too far ahead of myself. But that's just the first part of her kind of telling her version of what happened. And in that way, I do wish that we could see 
the call, um, but I've seen enough of Letitia's nonsense over the years to know exactly what happened without having to see it. You know what I mean? Just by the mm -hmm. way she describes it, we can kind of tell what the truth is. So. Right. Well, yeah, she's like, yeah, she's fine. Now you can tell that it's something they've all talked about. That's like everybody's oh, yeah. business, apparently, which something went <laughs> down. <laughs> yeah, something went down. Some shit went down. Let's be, let's just say what, and listen, I don't, I, even if they did give us access to that, like say they had given that to us, I probably wouldn't play it because right. I don't think it's right. Like Harley, Harley is not the person who's in jail at this time, nor is, was she the person on trial, nor was she the person convicted. So in my opinion, she is entitled to a moment. I mean, for this is her mother and her mother is in jail for, and she's got to come to all kinds of reckoning. So I think we can give a little grace and I wouldn't, I wouldn't play it. Um, yeah. Well, and it, and it had to have been bad for them to not release it. It had to have been bad. Right. Yeah. So Malibu, you didn't miss anything because we, we couldn't get it where it was on the, the one that was removed. Right. Plus we'll follow Harley for life. You're absolutely right. Well, I tried to click that comment, but I missed it. But um, okay, okay. You guys to the are... next one. To the next. Hey. Hi. How are you? Okay. How are you? I'm good. Um, I am. You're at work? Um, I'm, I'm teleworking today. So, um, yeah. When you tried to do that thing the other day, did you try it online or did you call? Uh, both. When you called, they didn't say anything? No. Because the guy just coming here again and said that I could do it at 5 tomorrow. And what did they tell Harley? Because she tried too. Yeah, I don't know. I just called her and she didn't answer. Okay. Yeah, like I can try. The deputies in here just said that's the time for six tomorrow. And mm -hmm. like, if you have them call and they get it scheduled at five, I'll make sure you call it at five. Mm -hmm. Five p.m. Okay. Okay. But they're all saying that, and like they called the sergeants, and they're saying that, yeah. So I mean, I don't, I don't know why there's a problem. Mm -hmm. But you know, they always have problems. But you know what I mean, right? But I just thought I'd tell you again that tomorrow they have them available for five. Well, they have six a.m. and five, but obviously six a.m. Uh, they try to do six a.m. <laughs> right? Yeah. But, um, okay. Anyway, right. and, and if they and if they tell you. No, then try to find out why because they're all saying yeah and they've been calling their 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 bosses who are saying yeah. So, mm -hmm. so I don't know why. Yeah, that no. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Were you able to find I can do that. You know what? It's true. <laughs> I ain't been I ain't been on this one. Look, I do need to get on this one. I was going to give you some names of one. What's that, my son? Well, um, they got James Patterson. It's an older one, but I like his older books. It's the President is Missing. It's with he, James Patterson and Bill Clinton heard it. Mm -hmm. They got that one. And then I'm trying to see what the last Ivanovich is for Stephanie Plum series. I know I've read all the way up to 20, but I didn't know she made any after 20. But it's the Stephanie Plum series. And it's Janet Ivanovich. Okay. But I read all the way to 20, so I don't know if she made one after 20, because I don't know what whatever happened with Stephanie Plum. If not, they got like another James Patterson that's called like, um, let's see, let me think of another one. Judge and Jury was a good one. Okay. Yeah. I already read the one Harley sent me. <laughs> I'm at 78 books. I read. Yeah, 
Oh, um, I just ordered me a Jewish bottle. Why? Because, I mean, I always had to grow up whatever someone else told me I had to be. I never got sick for myself. So you want to be a Jew? I mean, I'm... Yeah. Can't be a Jew. Number one, you're American. There's another you can still practice Jewish. Well, Jews don't believe in Jesus Christ. It depends if it's Thessalonian or not. They just don't believe in, or like a Jehovah, you could go, I could do Jehovah because I've been looking, I've been trying to study them all to see which one, because I could honor Jehovah. The only difference is like, you know, they don't believe in the cross because, you know, the Bible, the old times says a lot about being on a tree instead of on a cross. Um, but there's like a lot of people You can only get to heaven through good work. Who? That's not true. The Jehovah Witness. Not in the Jehovah Bible I have it. It's not what it says. All the practices of Jehovah Witnesses that I know around here, that's, that's what they teach. Yeah. Well, I'm just comparing them. I mean, because, like, I don't know. I never got to make a choice for myself, so. Mm -hmm. I'm going to look at that yeah, one. Yeah, but you believe in what you want, but there's one Savior. There's one way to heaven. <laughs> yeah, no, I know that. Like, I know that the only way to heaven, he's got all power and authority. Yeah, I know that. But, um, I just want to see, like, uh, kind of like do like a study of religion type thing, you know what I mean? And like I got anything else to do. Mm -hmm. I studied all night in college. I took the one class, but to be honest with you, it was like, I don't know, it was one of those things where I don't think I was ready to like look at it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But, um, so like we got the Quran, we were just like trying to look at the differences. Um, obviously I'm not trying to be Muslim, but, um, we just, sure heard huh? I no, said I no, sure no, we were just looking at the differences, like how the Quran does this and does that, and we compared it to the ESV version and stuff like that. We were trying to like, you know, cause you know, they don't have the New Testament has never been, they never found the original version of the New Testament. So we try to like, um, you know, figure out. Who says what, so we can like know the difference between what all these people say sometimes. Because you know, when you read the newspaper, you got like all these things, and they're talking about Islam, and then when they're talking about this, and people won't, you know, they always fight other countries, always fighting over who's getting control of Israel. So it's like good to know about the different, the different um, religions. But then you just need to get an Orthodox Bible, then. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, so even the the lost um, books of the Bible are in. It. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I didn't know if they would have that year. I couldn't remember what it was called. That's right. That's what it was called. Yeah, we have one. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to change from being Christian. I'm just saying, like, I just, I just want to see, like, what the difference is and how, like, how it got, how did it get translated differently from the Hebrew language to all these different people? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's why I like getting study Bible and following along with somebody, you know, who studied the Hebrew language. Right, like right. John Parker right. and David Jeremiah, they both studied it. Yeah. And it helped with their translation. Yeah. Yeah, because, um, like, when I was looking through some of the stuff that the Jehovah thing said compared to the, my Bible, like, sometimes I believe I believe with a little bit of what they were saying. You know, like, why it's almost a certain way. But. Right. But then again, it was like, I'm not going to go changing my whole thing just because of one little thing. But it's good to just figure right. it out. Yep. Like I said, besides, I'd rather be doing that than, you know, hearing these people in here yell about there's a drug dealer and a drug addict all in one. I heard this so much the last few days, I'm just like, shut up. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm a good drug dealer. Well, I do all the good drugs and I sell the drugs, and I'm just sitting there like, oh my god, like this is really something to be proud about saying. Yeah. <laughs> like, cause, you know, when, I, when we were all in A2, mostly all I had to deal with is the mental health patients. You know what I'm saying? 
But they're telling her you're refusing the visit. Uh huh. That's funny. And that's what I thought. I said, well, she told me she didn't refuse. I said, so, um, I'm not sure what's going on there. Yeah. She texted me yesterday. Hold up, on Brenda. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on, baby. <laughs> hold you on, baby. <laughs> you, hum you looked at humongous. Okay, baby, <laughs> love you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Lord have mercy. I know that's not in a direct quote, but I mean, come on. Good, Close enough. Good enough. Close <laughs> enough. <laughs> uh, so what did she say? She's read 78 books. Oh, Still uses YCOM. Okay, well, she was reading a lot. We saw, we we're starting to see that in the first pages of the jail file. But um, so, well, this is October, so maybe she has read that many by then. But oh my God, she just blows my mind. This one just really unnerved me. I'm sorry, but number one, I thought you, you are like I put it in the chat, but she is so absolutely offensive to so many people. They both are, and I don't even think they realize it. <laughs> like, oh my God, and um. Then the refu what's this refusing visits? Uh, I'm really interested about that, and I guarantee you she was refusing them. <laughs> she, was. she was. If she yeah. was, it'll be in that jail file, and we will be bringing it to y'all. So do not worry. Absolutely, yeah, she was definitely refusing jail visits, and I really like how you know when Aunt Katrina, who again like is is between you know the attorneys and Letitia. And, and so she knows what's coming from both sides. And she's clearly just sick of this Letitia. Time. I mean, she, I mean, it's just, she's so much different seven months later. I don't even know how she's still hanging in there. Um, but when, when she says that Katie says Letitia has been refusing visits, Letitia's like, oh, he, 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 that's funny. Or whatever she said, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, she didn't say that she wasn't refusing, but I, uh, but I think that, I mean, she's just doing it on purpose. Right. right. 
I think she's already told him that she refused it though. And she's saying like, "Mm -hmm, that's funny. Like they're full of shit basically. You know what I'm saying is what she's insinuating, but I get what she, I know what you mean. Mm -hmm. She is. And she, she's, her language is, is interesting there for sure. Everybody's a liar, but Letitia. Everybody. (laughs) Hey, crime mom. Everybody. And aunt Katrina was definitely getting miffed about, you know, talking about the Quran and the, oh my, but she wanted a Jewish Bible. And uh, again, Katrina didn't like that shit <laughs> at all. And then when she met, met, like mentioned um, being Muslim or, you know, studying Islam, <laughs> then she really. I mean, obviously, yeah, obviously, I don't want to be a Muslim. Yeah, obviously. And then, but, oh my God. then she's like, well, you know, you can't be it. There's only one way and that's Jesus. And she's like, oh yeah, I know for sure. Well, then why are you saying you you might want to be Jewish? Like, what? which way is it, lady? Are you? <laughs> ah. Well, and in Letitia's just, mind, the more that she learns about anything, the more she can use that knowledge against the people who subscribe to whatever knowledge she's trying to take in. But she doesn't truly study it. She only learns enough to to try to use it as a weapon. So, I, you know, she just wants a leg up in some way. I was really blown away by you can't be Jewish if you're American. Imagine (laughs) all the shock to the Jewish Americans. Oh, my God, I know. (laughs) (laughs) She's Oh, my God. Ah, These people, man, there's something else. No wonder we can't look the hell away. (laughs) I wish that that what we could hear now, instead of going into the call with Aunt Brenda, I wish that we could hear the call that Aunt Katrina had with the very next person she spoke to after that conversation. <laughs> yes. 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 I mean, come on. Yes. Oh, she she offended me. so many people in a 15 minute phone call. <laughs> I know. Definitely. Definitely. Happy oh. birthday. You and Nate are our birthday twins. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, we Renee's it's group. Renee's birthday too. Happy birthday. The big five. Happy oh. Birthday. Ain't yeah. it nifty to be 50? <laughs> oh my god you know this. Next how, how do you how do you get so and also the the um, not only was the things that she said offensive they're also wrong right <laughs> how do you get so much wrong how wrongness crammed into a 15 minute phone call and i don't even <laughs> think that one was 15 minutes because i didn't hear the little one minute warning I think I think Aunt Katrina cut that shit short. Right. She's like, man, I'm good for like seven and a half, maybe eight minutes, and then I'm out. Yeah, no, I it wasn't. Make it. it was 11. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lakeisha's like, I'll let you go be with your family, which whenever she says that, she said it before. Whenever she says that, it's, it's, a, it's kind of an underhanded little jab, you know it what is. I mean? Yeah. Um, oh, okay. Well, I'll let you go be with your family since I can't be with mine. Right. Uh, as exactly. if it's Katrina's fault Absolutely. that she's with family and Letitia isn't. Correct. So right. That is exactly my favorite that- part. Yeah. Is when she got away from the phone and here comes Letitia. Hello. Right. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Allie. I just w- talked right over you. I'm so sorry, babe. I'm so sorry. No, that's okay. I don't even know what I was saying. It was something. <laughs> Just like I don't even remember in response to what Jen. Oh no, that you're right, Letitia. It's just part of that's who Letitia is. That right there is just like one quick snapshot that says so much about who she is. You know what I mean? That she would yeah. throw an underhanded dig like that to her aunt because she's pissed off that her aunt. You know that she's in the situation. <laughs> and meanwhile, her aunt Katrina went to bat for her daily for Yo, months. Highlight Skylab's comment. <laughs> um, Tabitha, that's funny. Well, happy early birthday. Let me find happy it. All I could think when, when all I could think Skylab. when Letitia was like, hello. Uh, all I could think is that, you know, Katrina was trying, aunt Katrina was trying to, physically you know like use her fingers to get her eyes rolled back out of her head so that she could focus <laughs> i'm just dying at skylab's comment she ran a, wa- a watchtower tract once but now she's the pope 
<laughs> is the watchtower oh, wow. the little booklet from the wit the Jehovah's from Witness? the Jehovah's Witnesses? Yeah, right. yeah, that's what I yeah. thought. Uh, I've never oh. laughed so much and been so angry at the same time. <laughs> right? Yeah. So it's so hard. Ball. <laughs> and let me just say this, Leticia. I would much rather be in how judgy she is. Oh, yeah. Do you realize what you are charged with, ma'am? And she guilty of? And here you are judging a bitch for snorting coffee. <laughs> right. <laughs> Excuse me, while you're on your, you know, Bible study, let he who is without sin cast the first stone. So you better put your hands down, Letitia. You finna get stoned. Right. Well, not on coffee. I expected you to say, but you know what? That is, I've actually heard many people say that that happens in jail. I've never seen it. I've never tried it. I've only been in jail once for a couple hours, but I've I have heard that people literally snort that instant coffee powder wow. from the gym. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know what it'll do to you, but hey, I'll try anything once. <laughs> 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 oh. Think how bad that would burn. Uh, I don't understand what it's supposed to do, but I'm gonna definitely get in. We're gonna. I'm gonna do some research, you guys, and I'm gonna find out what the purpose is for snorting coffee. <laughs> are, are we even sure that the coffee in the county jail has caffeine? Are we even Fair sure enough. it's coffee? Right. Who knows? They could be snorting comet for all they know. I, I, you know, I don't know. But she's so <laughs> judgmental. She's so freaking judgmental. Like, yeah. and these, and there's drugs up in here, and you know, bitch, where can you, you imagine? At? Can you imagine her in real life, like to Albert? Like, imagine the shit she talked to Albert. Oh My God. God. She just acts like she's so much better than everybody else. Uh, also, spoiler alert, you want to know who G Jesus palled around with? The lepers, the whores, right. the drugs, right. you know? Yep. Drug addicts. Drug yep. addicts. Not, not, not addicts, addicts. Oh, sure. but addicts. Yeah. Addicts, like in the addict. <laughs> <laughs> right. Like the place oh, you put no. your Christmas decorations. There. Right. That, those drug addicts. <laughs> right. Meanwhile, as she's saying this out of one side of her mouth, what do you think would have happened if one of those inmates would have walked by and tossed a Xanax in her direction? She'd be oh, she'd be grabbing that up like hungry hippos. Give me a break. Be, yes, she would be like Pac-Man doing the uh yeah. power pellets. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> Talking to, yeah, give me a break. <laughs> have another Adderall, sweetheart. Well, I guess it was Vivance. Yeah, have a Vivance. And, and I'm not judging, life. listen. No, it's judging. just she's judgy. Right. It's just that she has nerve. Wait. We have a chatter in here named <laughs> Insure <What>? for Life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Leticia. <laughs> Oh, by the way, this reminds me because of Leticia's Google search account. All right, look, there, I know why she has the, I think I know why she had the random punctuation because when, um, oh, thank you, looking beyond that. So when sweet. you're tripping balls, um, sometimes you mess up between the period no. and, the, and the space bar. No, no, no okay. maybe. Sorry. But, <laughs> but for real, if you use a Samsung phone, like, because I used to have an iPhone and it didn't do this, but I don't know. What did she use? Do you know? Curious she had, she had an iPhone. Well, regardless, <laughs> I know now for me with my Samsung, when I use my microphone, like not the voice microphone oh. button, but like hit the mic to do a text, it yeah, will insert text. random punctuation. Yeah, all through it. Like, and it's a huge problem. Like, I, I start removing it because I'm like, everyone's going to think I'm typing like Dan Leticia now. So I'll be in chat. And stuff. I'm done with you. It's a huge problem. It is. Punctuation. Huge problem. It's a huge problem for me because I look like Leticia. It's just the way you said it. <laughs> I'm not going to make it through the other two calls. I already know. <laughs> oh, let's check in on Aunt Brenda. See what Aunt Brenda's up to. Yes, okay. baby. Let's hear Widget Tisha Lynn. 
<laughs> Tisha Lynn. Hey, Another baby, adventure with, with Tisha Lynn and, and Aunt Brenda. Man, Brenda. All right. I turned on the closed caption because I, I should have actually turned it on for the first two, but um, I didn't. Oh, no, that, that might be funny. I don't know. So I can't <laughs> watch the closed captioning on those. I, I just, I can't because I'll actually miss more because of the closed captioning. Some people ask me to turn them on though, like when we're listening yeah. to your calls. So I'll go ahead and do it just for if, if people need it. Um, all right. You guys ready? <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. I'm not looking at the screen anyway. I was just Okay. You know, talking about myself. All righty. Well, yeah, I'm sure they're definitely not accurate with these ones, but <laughs> just in case. <laughs> How does it spell every everything? <laughs> hey, baby. All right. Muted. All right. I'll let you go be with your family. I'll talk to you again. I'll talk to you. All right. All right. All right. Hey, baby, how you doing? Okay, how are you? Fine, you sound good, Tisha Lynn. Are you eating? No, I haven't eaten in two weeks. <laughs> huh? I haven't eaten in two weeks, but I'm, eating, I'm drinking a lot of water. Well, baby, you need to eat something, okay? No, I'm okay. <laughs> no, you need to eat, Tisha Lynn. I'm not eating, but, but I can drink water and I'll be okay. I'll be all right drinking water. Well, you know, Jamie always said, don't never let stuff get you in the stomach. I always try to eat a little something. Mm -mm. I'm not eating nothing that's not packaged. So. So, um, okay. You do whatever you feel like you need to do. Yeah, I will. I mean, you want to, you want to. <clears throat> so, baby, it, you sound better than you did before when you called me. Oh, yeah, I mean, I have good days and bad days. I just, um, I finally got some sleep. I hadn't slept in, like, four or five days, so I finally got some sleep last night. And then, um, I came out early this morning. Okay. So I um, got a uh, they, they brought breakfast, but I always flush it down the sink. I mean, that's down the toilet. And then, um, okay. Also, they bring like a package thing of chips or something. I'll eat it, but I'm not eating it. It's not packaged. Can you go to the commissary? No, they won't let me. Can you get food from the commissary? No. Do they bring you something from there? No, they won't let me. Because I know I got some money in that account, whatever. Yeah, You're I supposed can, to have some money in that account. I can only buy like hygiene and um, stuff like that. So that's what I do. I told Harley. I told yeah. I told Harley to find out uh, if he needed any more money in that account. And let me know so she can put some in there. Yeah, I told her to tell you about it because she asked me. Yeah, I told her. I said anytime your mama needs something other like that, you let me know, and I'll make sure you get the money or have the money so you can put it in her account for. It. Yeah. So she could write them without anything. Books. Okay. Yeah, I just told her to send me a bunch of books because that's really all I can do. Because they won't let me get a radio either. Okay, well, yeah, I told her, I said, make sure she, I did tell her that. I said, make sure you keep her books and stuff. Yeah. But anyway, she's supposed to be staying with me for Thanksgiving and Christmas. So she said, Yeah. I told Harley the other day, I said, Harley, you need to stay in touch with me more than what you're staying in touch with me. Yeah. Well, I don't even you get know, right so. here. I'm well, that's the thing. I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't either. I have to call and call or whatever. And, um, and so, so well, I, I really do. that same problem with <laughs> Well, I do too. And I'm, hey, and I'm looking at her. I understand. And, I'm, I'm agreeing with you. I'm saying, I'm saying yeah, I mean, we're I mean, both agreeing. I mean, and and I, I say something to her and she comes back and she, she, um, I told her to order my books the other day, and she got mad at me because I called her back. I said, Harley, they only sent one book. I said, you know, let me know what the other one says because if it's delivered and I don't have it, I said, I can message the mail room. And she was like, what? You only told me you wanted one. I said, Harley. We said That's what she got with one. She told me. Yeah. I said, we got on the phone and said, I gave you the books that I wanted. 
and you first you claimed you put them in the Amazon thing. Then you then after I called you back, you told me you forgot to get order. Then the next time you told me something else. I said then now you told me that you didn't give it one. I said so I just don't understand why it's so difficult. It takes literally five minutes of your time to order some books for me. So then she was like, you act like I am not appreciative of blah, 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 blah. Said, That's not what I'm saying. I'm telling you, I ask you to order something for me. I said, you got to understand. I said, there's no, I'm not like I got music to listen to. Not like I really get to eat. The only thing I can do is read books and read the Bible. I said, so I And she to got money and she got money, Tisha Lynn, because I give her money and I tell her, when you need something to go ahead and order it right. It, she does me the same way. She missed her windshield on her car, and she just got it fixed the other day. I don't know what happened to that windshield, but it went three weeks, and it wasn't fixed. I believe somebody kicked that windshield in on her new floor. Kicked the windshield in? I believe that's what happened, but she said it was the sun that caused the windshield, but I don't believe it. But that, that, don't you worry about it. I'm going to go down there the weekend and, and check her car to make sure she's got it fixed. And I then, know it was the thing the other day. Why would someone kick her windshield in? I, did, I didn't say she did. I said that's what it looked like to me. She said the sun caused it, but I've asked several people, and they said there ain't no way. But anyway, and then then the the guy that's standing there with him, uh -huh. he he let it slip that he had been driving her car. Okay. And I told him, I said, you do not drive that car because that insurance is in my name. Don't she, and I told Carly the same thing when I got her that car. You don't let nobody drive this car. Yeah. Because the insurance, and I'm paying the insurance. I said, you don't let nobody drive this car, Harley. I said, if they get in a wreck, they could take everything I got. I, I'm, I'm, having, I'm having some issues with her, and she don't understand. Tish Lynn, I don't know who she's listening to down there, but... It's got to be some of her friends and stuff, and she's not. Don't you get on her about it. Just leave it alone. Let me try to handle it myself. I'm going to find out about the windshield if you're talking about it looks like someone kicked it. Well, the, the, the packing, the, the packing in the windshield, the casing, casing mm -hmm. thing. When we went down there the other week to pick up Miss Kathy at the airport, we raced on Harley's car to go get dinner, right? Lunch yeah. or whatever. Harley drove her little car. And I was sitting in the back seat, and I seen the packing out of the windshield on the driver's side and the passenger's side. And I said something to Harley. And I said, Harley, I said, what's that packing doing out from around your windshield? She said, I don't know, Aunt Brenda. She said, when I drive, I don't look at stuff like that. Come on, Tish Lynn. The packing was out in front of her car. And I'm sitting in the back seat. And if I'm sitting in the back seat and notice it, you know, you know, she noticed it in the front seat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I told her to go get it fixed. That was on a Saturday. I told her to have it there that Monday. And she's been busy, busy, busy. She just got it fixed the other day. So she said. Well, I know, I know she said the car was getting fixed, but I didn't never, I didn't ask what it was. You know what was wrong? I didn't think nothing. You know well, I mean? she, I had to get on her about getting the oil change. I said, Harley, you need to get that oil change and get that windshield fixed. I said, I'm not telling you no more about the windshield. I said, now I will tell you this: if you don't maintain that car and take care of that car, I will go down there and I will take it from you. Yeah. And you'll be without transportation. I said, now I bought you the car so you would have a car and got you what you wanted. And I said, I will go take it. And I said, if I ever should tell anybody else driving that car, I most definitely will go take it. Yeah. You can't blame me for that, Tisha Lynn. I'm not. You, you didn't hear me say nothing, did you? <laughs> no. I said, I'm going to find out about the windshield because the sun don't just, if the sun crack, if it's cracked, it's going to make a crack go yeah, the windshield, the windshield weren't The windshield weren't cracked. It was the casing, the packing around the windshield. The rubber around the windshield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she said it was from sitting in the sun. There's a lot of cars I know that sits out in the sun. I've never seen that before. Hmm. So, like, you don't have the black mm -hmm. little, the black, like, cushion stuff that goes around the outside? Yeah, but this was on the inside. Oh. 
So the glass wasn't broke. Oh. The casing was coming off. The casing was coming out. And see, it was enough that I'm sitting in the back seat, as bad as my eyes is, I've seen it, on passenger and driver, and she drives a car, and she said that she hadn't even paid, she hadn't paid that no attention, because when she drives, she focuses on what she's doing, driving. Yeah. And I thought to myself, yeah, right. But that's okay. Let me take care of this. You don't worry about it. Don't mention it to her. And when you call back again, I'll have you an update. Just leave it alone right now, okay? Well, you're the most the most responsible child, so I don't know what's wrong with her head right now. And I know it's probably most of I'm not there, and she knows that I'm not there. And, and she's, she's got her freedom, and she's and she doing knows, whatever she wants to do. She knows better than that. She's been raised, raised better than that. She knows better than that. She always takes care of She did, She wouldn't even let people in her car with anything to drink. Well, she 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 is she is uh, letting her friends, um, her friends that she's bringing with it is, um, yeah. Well, I am going to say something to her about that because that ain't happening. She, she she's kind of letting her friends um tell her what to do and what not to do, and I think she's listening to them and stuff like that. And um, every time I turn around. She, her and her friends are going somewhere or doing something, and they're always driving Carly's car. Yeah. Carly, why don't you ever ride with them in their car? You know, and, and these are things I asked her. Well, that's surprising to me because their parents are loaded. Tono and Charlotte's parents well, are loaded. Well, that's the thing. That's the thing. That's the thing. And then, like I said, um, I, I don't know what the scoop is there. I don't know what the scoop is going on there. Tony's got a brand new car. Or he did. See that boy? Yeah. What's his name again? Tono. Antonio? Yeah. Something? I don't know. Yeah, Charlotte. I don't know brother. what he's got. Where's I know he's been talking Harley into buying some film and stuff to take pictures and stuff, and I said to Harley. Photographers don't make that much money in Robertson County or in South Carolina. North or South, you got to go somewhere like California to do that kind of work. You know, with big magazine companies. Yeah. Well, because that's and because you got to think their mom owns their own business, right? So their mom has got all the connections to start his own business. You see what I'm saying? Their mom see, that's has the their thing. own that, that's, that's, that's his mom. Right. His mom. Harley's yeah. got to focus on what Harley can do. I know, I'm just telling you. She don't have the money to, yeah, she don't have the money to be buying them kind of cameras and this and that and the other. But she already had an $800 camera. She said that they took it. The they did, but, it. but they should have been able to give it back to her because it was nothing. She ain't got nothing back. Oh, well, she should have because I don't know why we're watching. She ain't got a thing. She, she ain't got nothing back and we were going to go to Greece for a few days for a couple weeks. And I asked her about her passport, and they took her passport. Yeah, they got the passport. And she, she, she can't even get her passport. Yeah, I know they got the passport. But she, they, she said they got her camera and everything, too. I don't know how to, how can they hold on to someone's documents like that? Birth certificate. And personal belongings. I have, I have no idea. And when I say something to Harley about, when I say something to Harley about talking to her attorney, she won't tell me her attorney's name. She won't give me his phone number. She won't nothing where I can call him. Yeah. I don't even know it. Well, I know it's Julian. That's all I know. I don't, I don't know who. Well, well, the thing is, is Miss D and, and whatever her name, Amy, they know more about what's going on with Harley than I do. Well, they know more than I do, too. So. They know a lot more than I do, and, and that's why I'm getting upset with Harley. I'm going to lie to you. Yeah. Maybe I put $5,000 in Harley's chicken account um, about a month or two ago. I don't know how much money she's got in it, but I put $5,000 cash in her chicken account for her car and everything. Yeah, well, I'm going to and talk to her. I think, but you got to I think she's I think, huh? Go ahead, though. You think what? Go ahead. You walk now. I was just going to say, you got me that... This is all different to her because she's not used to having her mom around. So we're gonna have to do more of like a, she she's sensitive. So she you have to like talk to her and and you have to compare things in a certain way. So I'll talk to her because 
she doesn't, she breaks down and she's so sensitive to everything. And and she's just like, she's not like you and I. Were you have you know? one minute remaining. Yeah, I know. Just talk to her, just talk to her baby and tell her she needs to get a little bit more closer to me. Yeah. And stuff, because I'm the one that's going to have to look after her. She gets sick or something happens to her. Yeah. And I love you, baby, and I know you got to go. And I'm going to take care of her. Don't worry yeah. about that, okay? I'll and I'll make sure she orders your books and all 42, okay? okay. All right. Let me see. If you need Bye. anything, give me a call. And I love you, and I sent you some letters, okay? Okay. Okay. Bye. All right. Okay. So, first of all, number one, we see Letitia at least <sighs> trying a little bit with Harley. Of course she's sensitive. Look at what she's going through. Dear God. Not only is her mother in jail, her stepbrother is gone. Her whole family is destroyed. She, you know, she had, cause remember, she was also family with Al and Lena, so she's missing them too. But, you know, then she stuck uh, back with Aunt Brenda, who obviously don't like her. Look how Aunt Brenda talks about her. But you, I will say we can hear Letitia there really leaning into and talking about how she manipulated Harley, right? She's like, she's so sensitive. You kind of have to talk to her a certain way. You have to compare things a certain way, you know, and I think that that is her describing how she manipulated her. Uh-oh, we're about to die. Uh-oh, we don't want to do that. Okay, got it. But yeah, um, so what do you guys think? Oh my God, that's infuriating. Not only, ah, oh, what do you guys think? Well, I could go on. Second of all, Tisha Lynn. This is the first time I've heard Tisha Lynn ask anybody how they're doing. So there is that. Okay, but then I had to deduct points in the congeniality uh, portion of the program because um, I agree with you. Letitia is manipulate manipulates everybody and she's manipulating aunt brenda right now um and the reason that they that the feds haven't given your stuff back is because they're investigating your daughter you idiot for your crime that's why they she doesn't have her passport because they don't want her to leave the country because she's under investigation Remember, this is October of 2020. She right. hasn't been. She hasn't met with, with uh, the prosecution. Any of that. They're looking at Harley. Yep. So that's why. Right. She doesn't Shalane. have her camera for the same reason she does have an attorney. Correct. And I don't. I. Here's the deal. It would not matter if Harley told. Aunt Brenda, who her attorney's names were. It wouldn't matter if Harley told Aunt Brenda not only her attorney's name, but gave her their entire family tree. An attorney is not allowed, is not going to talk to you, Aunt Brenda, without their client's permission. So having a name of the attorney is pointless if Harley doesn't give you, if Harley doesn't give consent for them to speak to you. Right. And the um, money and the car and you're not doing this and you're not doing that. And she's getting on her for everything. And I mean, every little thing. And then in the same breath, she's like, I wonder why she doesn't call me more. Yeah. No yeah. Are you kidding me? How come me? she ain't kicking it with you, Aunt Brenda? Wonder why. Um, I think the chat thought when Brenda first spoke that that was you, Ben. Take <laughs> 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 Hi, baby. How you doing? You sound so much better. Oh, you've got to eat, no. Tisha Lynn. Look, Aunt Brenda. I know what I know what Tisha's telling you, but let me just say this: when you're in a cell, your toilet and your sink are combined. Congratulations, Letitia. You have that. I don't have that. You're winning. No. Um, winning. So the fact of the matter is, the fact that she said that she flushed her food down the sink. First of all, no. Second of all, <laughs> you flush it down the toilet, but I, that tells you right there it's a lie. If you threw your food away, you'd know where you threw your food. Shut up, Letitia. Right. And two and weeks I, with no food. Right. She didn't go two weeks with no food. And then Come here on. comes Aunt Brenda. What does she say? Uh, 
I'm not going to lie to you, Tisha Lynn. That's all right, Aunt Brenda. Tisha Lynn fixing to do all the lying for both y'all. Don't you <laughs> worry, sugar plum. Um, Don't you worry. Um, and her next mm -mm. call that she makes is actually to Harley. And this would be her next, the next time she got on the phone. Mm -hmm. So then, and we also heard a little bit more about the fight that Harley and Letitia got into. And, and it was because Letitia was coming down on her because Harley only sent her one book and she was supposed to send her more than one book. Oh my and, God. you know, Harley is really letting Letitia down. How oh, damn man. dare <laughs> you know, and I, I mean, I've never been, I mean, you know, and, and, you know, I've been in, in contact with Harley and I have been in trouble for quote unquote going after Harley, which I've never actually done. But if I see something, I say something, it could go either way, depending on the day. I'm only speaking about the thing that I'm looking at, you know, in that moment. And at no time have I, you know, condemned her, but the facts is the facts. And she was under investigation as an accessory to this murder. And it's okay to say that out loud. Um, that's not me coming after her, but hearing mm -hmm. aunt Brenda and, and, and Letitia, you know, tonight my heart goes out to her. That's, that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, the, the truth of the matter is at the be at the beginning of this, everybody was under investigation and it was through the process of the investigation that they slowly started eliminating people as potential suspects. Harley was a suspect. Letitia was a suspect. Al was a suspect. Landon was a suspect. Um, Landon's, um, I mean, they, you know, there were a bunch of suspects. Eduardo, um, yeah. What's his name? Um, Quincy Brown was, his, I mean, you know, no, but right. for reals in the beginning, in the beginning, everybody was a suspect. And by the time that, that these calls took place, they had not, they had not been able to, at that point, r rule her out completely, but they also hadn't charged her either. So there's right. that. And then the only other thing I had in my notes on that call was, you know, this whole windshield thing. Um, the way yeah, Aunt right. Brenda says, you know, she just talks all this smack and she's like, but don't you say anything. I'm going to handle it. I'm going to handle it and I'll, I'll, I'll get back to you with an update. Uh, it's just, it's all manipulation I, from, from both of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I did want to point out too that I edited out, you know, the, the first part of the call where it's the robot voice saying, uh, you know, thank you for using Global Tell Link and, and, and you have so much on your account. Now, everybody that Letitia's calling, they generally have between 10 and $20 on their phone account. But when she calls Aunt Brenda, it's like, you have $65 remaining on your phone oh, account. God. So like, even that, even that, it's just she's got to be in that position. And she really hates it. You know, just like she really hates that Dee Dee and Amy know more about Harley's attorney than she does. And Harley won't give her the information because she doesn't want you to come in and take it over. Right. And it would only muddy the waters. Right. But. And I, I oh. live in Florida too, Jeff, and the sun does do weird stuff. I'm sorry. I do have two more notes. So she was talking about Charlotte and Tono. And in, in that uh, video call where it showed Tono, I was thinking that that's who Aunt Brenda was talking about um, in the prison call when she was talking about, you know, the, uh, the, the guy that was using her car and using her up and all that. I was mm -hmm. wondering, you know, and, and it was in relation to her taking the car away. And I was wondering if that was him. But then, you know, instead of the boyfriend. So I think when we first listened to those phone calls from prison, we just assumed that she was talking about uh, Trey, Harley's current boyfriend. But I really think Brenda was talking about this Tono guy. And that's Charlotte's brother that she was living with in Myrtle Beach. Mm. Um, ooh, Lucy has a good point. Why would Harley trust Brenda after all this shit Letitia talked about her? How well, she did this to herself. Right. And Letitia she, does that very purposely as well. That's the point. That's what I was just going to say. I don't think that Aunt Brenda, well, now she knows, but 
in the yeah. moment, <laughs> in the moment, I don't think that uh, Aunt Brenda or Harley were aware of the conversations that was taking place when the, uh, you know, with the other person. Right. So, and nothing, and just wait till we play the next call because I know what's coming. Right. Scallop, y'all just grabs in. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's something Leticia said. <laughs> Y'all just dot 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 grabs. I remember her talking about grasp uh, grasping at straws or whatever. Yes, I, but grabsin. Remember when she said I'm a tree? <laughs> when she y'all maybe maybe I'll maybe I'll make a, a thumbnail with Leticia as a tree. I'm the tree. <laughs> y'all barking up the wrong tree. I'm the tree. I'm grasping at straw. I'm grab. I'm grabs in at straws so I can snort my coffee. I'm the tree. <laughs> <laughs> my goodness. Don't you worry about it. You hear? Y'all come Let's back see what now. Harley's up to. Mm -hmm. All right. I, I love you, darling. Bye. Hi. Hey. Mm. Sorry, Flea. I just got to use the phone. How do I turn this up? Let's go volume. Huh? Volume up. Okay. Hey. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, I just got in. They brought me back to medical. So I'm housed mm -hmm. in medical now. So I just got to use the phone. Just now? You didn't have a good morning? No, I've been housed in medical ever since yesterday. Oh, wow. Why? Yeah, and I have to sleep on the floor. It's a concrete floor and it's freezing. I'm trying to get a blanket. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Guess, guess what? What? Guess what they have in Myrtle Beach now? What? You will never guess it in a million years. The Dutch Bros. Nope. What? Something that they only had in Orlando. Victoria's Secret Outlet. Yep. No way. Mm hmm. It's where Polo used to be. Oh my goodness. You mm -hmm. already been there? Mm hmm. <laughs> I knew you had. Is it like the same kind of stuff? Yeah, of course it's just smaller. Yeah, were people like in there like crazy? Yeah, it was funny because it was like, also how you'd hear people talk about it and they'd be like, oh my god, this is crazy, $20. Mm -hmm. And when you're like, man, I've been doing this for years. Mm hmm. I didn't tell Aunt Brenda off the other day when she was talking smack. She told me that you were going to be mad. Huh? She told me that you were going to be mad. Okay, so I did tell her I would talk to you about certain things, but then, like, she was, she had me worried. So she tells me, she goes, yes, and someone had kicked Harley's window out of her car. And I'm freaking out. I'm like, What? I'm like, oh my god! Then it went from that to some rubber piece. Yeah, it was like, it was like the um, foam that's in the windshield. And when I had went to Nissan, I was like, why is it doing this? Like, it needs to be fixed. They're like, is it the foam on the right side of the car? And I'm like, yeah, they're like, we see those all the time. So it's just like a default in the Nissan, and she was freaking out, and I was like, and Brenda, like. The guy sort of the default, like it was nothing to do with me. I think she just, I don't know, but I just sit there and listen to her and I was like, I wanted to be like, I called you to talk to her, see how you're doing, not to hear you just talk smack, you know what I mean? Mm. And then she was just like, well, I told her I would mention it to you about making sure, please, for God's sake, don't let anybody drop that car. 
I'm not. I know, but you know how she gets off on her tangents, and hopefully you won't mm-hmm. have, I mean, you know, there'll come a point in time when you'll be able to give her the money for that, for that car. Mm-hmm. So, you just got to take her time, man. But there'll come a point when you'll, you'll get to give her that money. And I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it anymore. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But I'm going to make sure she's personally going to get every dime of her money for that. Might not be right now, but it's going to be soon. I'm not soon, but it's going to happen. Oh. What have you been up to? Nothing. I have a book on it. Can I ask? Yeah, yeah. I'm reading my life card book. Um, I don't want to be Oh, did that number ever write you back anymore? I just said I'll let him know. I'm like, dang, she's gonna move to medical. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. Yeah, let's see where we are. It's freezing. I tried calling Annie Bolton a couple times, but I never can get her. Did she, did she tell you what happened with Steeler? With who? Steeler? No, he died? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. No, she, he didn't. She had to put him down. Mm. Now, I just, I think she'd probably be at work when I call. Yeah, not too. How long has it been since Steeler died? Like a week. Mm. Mm-hmm. Is she taking it bad? Yeah, I called her. And she was crying and I was in a crowd that I was like, oh my gosh. She was like, she was giving me a purpose. I was his mom and now I'm nothing. Did she say I've been calling her? Huh? Did she say that I had been calling her? I haven't talked to her since then. Huh? I haven't talked to her since then. No, I meant before that, because I've been trying to call her for a couple weeks. Yeah. She, huh? she always texts me, be like, she always texts me, and she's like, um, tell your mom I met your mom. <laughs> I figured it's just different because she's at work, you know what I mean, when I usually come out, but mm-hmm. I'm glad I didn't, well, get her the other day, and I wouldn't have known nothing about Steeler in advance, because I'd have been like, oh my gosh, so now I know, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because mm. I remember when her cat died, so I knew it would be tough when Steeler died. Mm-hmm. Oh, and then Brenda says something to me about uh, you buying some kind of film or something and they were no money and taking pictures. And I didn't think about it at the time to tell her, but I'm going to have to tell her next time and be like, hey, Brenda, do you know how many times you changed careers? One minute you were a paralegal, next minute you were working at a trucking office, so you did administrative assistance and typing stuff. Then you end up doing some kind of uh, serving papers, legal processing. I'm like, <laughs> no, nothing that I do is good enough for her. No, but no one's ever been like that, though. No one's ever been good enough, so. I mean, I wasn't. No one is. Stephanie wasn't. 
the one that is this is her. You just have to just know that that's just her. Mm-hmm. A lot of it is because she never had kids. You know what I mean? Yeah, she's like that mom where like, you tell her what you want to do. And the mom's like, no, sorry, you have to do this. The mom's like, what? <laughs> no, sorry, you have to do this. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. She's never, she never had kids, so she just don't understand that love and compassion and how to navigate through that system. She just doesn't. I mean, even though she raised Stephanie, still, she just wasn't like, you know, it was more of like it was the job for her and not, you know. Yeah. And she's good at that part of it, but just not the empathy part and the love. Okay, well, I'll take the time so I can call you tomorrow if I get to come out. I don't know what they got going on. Okay, I love you. It's freezing, I know that. All right, I love you too, sweetie. Bye. Hey. Yeah. I love you so much. Love you too. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay, so... Oh my God, you guys. Wow, 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 wow. I just, number one, it's like, look at the difference in what we hear with Aunt Brenda versus with Harley. And while Aunt Brenda is the one spending all this money and stuff, I mean, she just told Tisha she spent, put $5,000 cash in Harley's bank account. Right. Um, they are talking crap about her. And, yes. um, Wow, that's sad. And then, you know, it makes me feel bad because Letitia, like, fans those flames. And then Harley's like, I can never do good. You know, I'm never good enough. Nothing I ever do is good enough or whatever. And it's like, actually, you probably would be if your mom wasn't in the middle making everything worse. <laughs> probably be a lot better anyways. <laughs> oh, my God. How awful. Mm. Well, she takes whoever side is in her is in her face at the moment but I, I before we get too much into that, i just want to say something really quick now i've noticed this a lot when we when i've watched any of the calls from leticia <clears throat> y'all she's not going to talk about gannon first and foremost she's an absolute freaking monster okay so she wouldn't even if she if she would never talk about him anyway but she's especially not going to talk about him because she's pled not guilty so she's not going to talk about him. She's not going to talk about the crime and she's not going to show any remorse. And I, I know that's hard. I know that <clears throat> we cannot understand that about her, but she's not gonna, you know, it's just, she, well, you she, know, she's, she's like, well aware she's recorded too. And that's the correct. thing. Like, that's why. And, and that even like with Delphi, what, what like confuses me with his freaking confession is like they all know they're being recorded when they're on these calls i just but yeah so she knows they they probably tell her right before she gets on the phone every time every single time they tell both parties before they connect the call they let them know that it's monitored you can't use three-way calling blah 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 yada 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 whatever 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 right well huh. what do you think curious Jen about that call and and that call and 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 the the order you know that it happens after the call with Brenda and how that they look different what are your thoughts on that well like when they started they were both very quiet and Harley had you know the quieter sweeter you know baby voice and then and then they used Brenda as sort of a tool uh to talk about Brenda so that they could you know I mean it, it you know, and then you can kind of hear the tone change, you know, because, you know, now they're they're talking about it. And then, you know, the uh, you know, the the huge news that there's a Victoria's Secret outlet in in Myrtle Beach now, you know, um, you know, and both of them are probably thinking about the horrific conversation they had the last time they spoke. But they're you know, they're trying to get past it. So, you know, yeah. welcome. To, welcome to Under the Bus, Brenda. 
Um, Brenda is the bridge. Smack yeah. talking. Brenda is the bridge that got right. uh, them that mended fences. I guess I should say bridge is probably a bad, poor choice of words, but uh, Brent smack talking. Brenda is the fence mender. Right. There we go. Put it like that. Right. Mm, my God. It's just crazy. It's, it's crazy to hear. And I wish, you know, I, I understand why we couldn't. I just wish we could have heard that argument. And then what about her at the end where she's like, I love you so much. Like, she's like, wait. And Harley's like, yeah. Well, poor Harley, man. She sounds so defeated. I can't imagine what she was thinking at this time. Are we just going to gloss over the fact that Letitia repeated 72 times that she had been, been in medical the last two days and she's sleeping on the concrete floor oh, and God. she's freezing yes, and Harley didn't that. acknowledge oh, that at all. <laughs> right. Well, and that's how she started because, you know, she was probably a monster to her on the tele on the phone last time. And yeah. so she's going to start with, you know, why Harley needs to feel sorry for her. That's Correct. where she's going to start. Guilt, guilt immediately. Right. Oh my God. Well, and well, Harley does. She's like, oh, like she does kind of have some sympathy for her for some of it. She at least but she shows never, it, you know. But she never followed. There's, it's very superficial. And I'm not being critical of Harley. Right. It's intentional. There's no follow. You know how you, there are some people that you talk to, and when you ask them how they're doing, it's really a nicety. You're not actually interested because you've fallen through this trap before and you're about to listen to 45 minutes of how everything in, in their life that can go wrong has gone wrong. And then they're going to ask you for advice and argue with your aunt with the advice that you give, which then just pisses you off more because you're like, well, if you know everything, why are you asking me if you already know the answer? Right. Oh my God. You know, that's Letitia. That's why Harley is just like, oh, instead of, well, what happened, mom? Because she doesn't want to listen to the next 15 minutes of Letitia's, you know, pity party. The, 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 the snacks suck and the music is lame. Nobody wants mm -hmm. to attend that party. Oh, my God. The snack sucks and the music is lame, <laughs> The chips are stale and they ain't playing no Wu Tang. So it ain't a party mm -mm. you want to attend. Yeah. 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 We'll, we'll hear more about the default with the car a little bit later. Oh, the defect. <laughs> no, I said default. default. I said what I said. I said what I, <laughs> I, said. I said. what I said. The default, the default <laughs> in the car. Yeah. The default. It's just well, in the Nissan. And Aunt Brenda didn't say that. <sighs> Somebody can see both of both and Brenda. And I'm, if you're hearing this and Brenda, you got to know this about yourself. It, uh, you know, I know some truths about myself too, but we're not talking about me right now. We're talking about you. <laughs> you got to know that you hype shit up. Okay. You will, you, you whipped Letitia up intentionally and then say, don't talk about it. Yeah. No and, doubt. and then Letitia get your words wrong. Nope. I don't remember. Aunt Brenda saying that her windshield was kicked out. I think what yeah, Brenda was so trying nice. to say is it looked like somebody stomped on it, but I don't know how that could be if it's the it's the rubber piece that is is the insulator between the the plastic in the car and the windshield itself. Yeah, you know I don't know what the hell that thing is called. I'm sure it has an actual legitimate name. I don't know what it is. Because to be honest with you, I've ne the thingy. I've never I've never paid attention to the windshield thingy. Now I have paid attention to the windshield itself because it yeah, can but... have a crack in it, and it's if it's so big or whatever, then you have then in Florida you can get a ticket for it or whatever. I don't know what, and I know in Texas too you can. Texas is a little bit more lenient. Florida is kind of strict about well, the size how... of it. Oh, sorry, Allie. I was just going to say that the, 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 like, um, to Jen's point, the building her up and then you can't talk about it, like building things up. I just, oh my God. And then, then you hear when Letitia's like, well, well we 
gotta be more gentle with Harley than Brenda's like, I'll take care of her. And she falls right in line. <laughs> and thank you, Debbie. That is so sweet. Thank you so much. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead, Jen. Uh, I just, um, so we hear Letitia and Aunt Brenda, um, you know, talking smack about Harley and, and this stuff with the car. And Brenda tells Letitia, now don't you say anything to her. And, and, and Letitia's like, well, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to say a little. And so then the next call we hear Harley and Letitia talking smack about Brenda. And then, and then we find out that Brenda went straight to Harley and said, your mom's going to be mad at you. Yes. Your mom is going to be mad at you. But to, oh Brenda, to, be, to be fair to Brenda, Brenda did say she was going to handle it. Now let me handle it, Tasha Lynn. <laughs> Don't you say nothing. But you guys think she knows she's not getting out. I'm getting delusional vibes like she believes she's going to be the case. <laughs> well, at this I mean, time. She, she definitely did. Yes. She compared herself to Jesus, y'all. Just let that sink <laughs> in. Delusional. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Not only was she going to get away with murder, but she was going to sue the jail. She was going to sue the courts. She was going to sue everyone and never have to work again because she's going to be rich. She's already promising that money five ways to everybody who's willing to fall for her manipulative bullshit and help her with whatever scam she's working on next. And, and, and she's promising them part of that civil suit money. She's going to give them a little piece of that money. A little piece of <laughs> that money. Oh, my God. Oh, that's it. Oh, oh, she drives me crazy. Well, you guys, not, that is. In wait, hold on. I got to say one thing, but not to Aunt Brenda. Aunt Brenda, you an instigator. She wasn't going to give you no money. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so that is going to be it for tonight because the next three calls are kind of, they kind of need to go all together. And if I, if I, I don't want to stay on too long, but regardless, you guys will hear them tomorrow night. So make sure I'm going to drop some links in the chat right now and make sure you're subscribed because tomorrow night I may not be there, but the girls are going to finish on Jen's channel, Bendy, uh, the Ward case studies. And then and then in the future, we'll probably do a little more at a time. I don't exactly know. We have to work that out. We only got seven at first, and then we got uh, – it's – we're figuring it It's just been it a out. deal. It's just yeah. been a deal. But no matter what, however we do it, always know that they're going to end up without any commentary whatsoever on – Crime Curious YouTube channel. So I'm going to drop that now. Now you can go to the um, website and get all kinds of stuff. The last file that we bought, the case file, the thousand page case file, you can get, you know, all the pretext phone calls, all the stuff for the case, even her life insurance stuff, her sue in the jail. I mean, literally everything. It's the best place for resources. So make sure you definitely check out those two uh, channels. You can replay this. This this first part that we watch, of course, you can replay that. But then the rest, you guys will hear tomorrow with the gins, and then in the near future, some more. I cannot wait. Also, make sure that you're watching <laughs> Tidbits of Tisha. It's a new series <laughs> here, and they're going to be doing stuff on their channels. And um, because we got the jail file, and we are so excited about that, and can't wait to start putting out all of that information. Um, also. Shout out to the mall. Brother. Shout out to the mall. Hey. I'm going to drop a few other channels of some awesome people that were with us tonight that Melissa has been covering. Letitia, Amber um, has been covering all kinds of other stuff. Delphi, Idaho, the Ruby Frank. Um, and yeah, thank you guys. Oh, thank you, Pizza Chemist. Thank you. Shout out to the mall. <laughs> <But> <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I can't wait to finish this. I, it's so interesting. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for doing it with me and thank you guys yeah. in the chat for, um, Listen, Allie, yeah. when you, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just, no, I'm, I'm done. Ahead. Uh, when, when you lay your head on your pillow tonight, just smile and know how pissed off she is that she can't send you a message. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> <laughs>
I wonder if she heard about the meme competition. And I also oh, wonder if <laughs> she, I'm sure she did because she knew every, literally everything else we said, what we called her. I mean, just everything. So, yeah. oh, thank well, you, then she can know that when you lay your head on your pillow tonight, you're just going to smile and, and just know <laughs> that she was wrong. <laughs> you know, if, if you if you weren't a if you weren't a, a, a killer, Letitia, and locked up for the rest of your days, you could have heard it live and in person. And it was I can assure you that the banter between Allie, Jen, and myself, calling you Craig, was a hell of a lot funnier <laughs> in person than I'm sure the mole relayed to you. <laughs> it's quite difficult to capture my accent or my impression, Malia, so I'm sure I, it wasn't done accurately. Melissa said, Definitely I'm still wondering what happened to the other half of her eyebrow. And actually in the gel file today, it said like <laughs> that she was using the toenail clippers to pluck her eyebrows. <laughs> right. Okay. So there's, there's a method. <laughs> there's a method in the county jail for how uh, women pluck their eyebrows. And, and basically, <laughs> sorry, I'm about to go Bill Nye science guy. No. Um, <laughs> so you take the string from a tampon, right? take the cotton part off and then you just, you separate uh, the middle portion of the string. Cause you know how the string is actually a bunch of strings put together. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so you kind of separate those out in the, in the, in the middle a little bit. And then what you do is you put, you, you poke the hair that you want to uh, pluck. You, you put that in the middle and then you twist and pull real fast at the same time. Right. And like that's how you threading. pluck your eyebrows. Yeah. It's just threading. Oh Only God. it's with a tampon string. Tampon and Tisha string. tried to do that. She tried to do that, but she just couldn't figure it out. She just <laughs> couldn't do the threading. And so her next step was that she she used the 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 clip the the clippers <laughs> to, ah. to and, and and that is the story of Letitia Stout's left eyebrow. Rest in <laughs> peace. That is what happened to the left eyebrow. <laughs> Damn. Um, yeah, and then we'll be back here Saturday to go through some more calls, most likely, if if the girls can swing it. If they can't, then as soon as we all can be here. Oh, wait, you guys have something Saturday. We'll be back soon over here, at, but Jen's tomorrow night. for Definitely uh, tomorrow and maybe Saturday. Yes. We'll just yes. have to figure out times. I, I, I'm down to do it Saturday, but I definitely want to talk about American Horror Story, the last episode, mm -hmm. until um then when we get n new ones and then yesterday no today's thursday right yeah today, today yeah. was the was the premiere episode of american horror stories on hulu yeah. so i definitely want to go over that plus i need to finish up the nick and gypsy right i have nick's interrogation but more but also also charlie adelson's uh trial started today and now i ha and i watched mm -hmm. all day and i have been waiting for this trial for him for four score and seven years and a lot of stuff came out this morning and um i've got to squeeze time in in between the uh jail calls and the american horror stories and story um to go over that because it was a lot Okay. Well, yeah. And I'll, I'll probably, I already started grabbing, like looking for what I'm going to put on the next episode of tidbits of Tisha. And that will probably go up tomorrow. Other than that, I will not be doing anything tomorrow, but I'll definitely see you guys Saturday and hopefully for calls, as long as we could do it in the day or anything, but we'll, we'll talk and figure that out and let you guys know. Um, hey, Allie. Yeah. I love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. What, what, Jen? Oh, okay, Tisha Lynn, I love you so much, baby. <laughs> um, oh, my God. I wonder if I sound like Harley because you caught me off guard with that, too. <laughs> I was like, oh. <laughs> um, thank you again to Pizza Chemist, Kim, Pat and Angie, MK and Diana, and then thank all of you guys in the chat. Thank you to the mods. Thank you to the ladies on panel. And yeah, um, I hope to see all you guys tomorrow. Also, and also a blanket apology to every person who's involved with every religion that Tisha Lynn mentioned this evening. <laughs> yeah. Don't blame it we're, on us. We're okay? sorry. 
we're what sorry we are right now. We're, we're, we ain't made the news we're just reporting it it weren't our fault it weren't Blank <laughs> oh my god that drives me crazy ah all right yeah anyways you're big as hell but i gotta go bye <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, like, <laughs> she's like that part um from Animaniacs, Wendy and the the dog. I can't remember. It was a little side cartoon from Animaniacs, mm -hmm. and she would say, "Okay, lady, I love you. Bye bye." That's what Aunt, that's what Aunt Brenda <laughs> reminds me of. Okay, lady, I love you. Bye bye. You're huge. <laughs> <laughs> also, <laughs> everybody in chat, don't let it get you in the stomach. <laughs> you got to eat something, y'all. Got to. You know her ass had eight in those two weeks. I'm sorry. We did not oh, say she that. But come yeah, on. She two weeks. Give me a break. All right. I love you guys. Okay. Have a great Good night. Night. I love you. Okay, everybody. Bye. You're not humongous.